22-year-old Sven Badzak was on his way back from the supermarket. He was an aspiring lawyer, not a gang member, not the man his killers Rashid Goodell and Shiro Ambersley thought. As Sven walked home on the 6th of February 2021, a group of six men, including Goodell and Ambersley, attacked him and stabbed him in a brutal ordeal lasting just 20 seconds. Help was called, but it was too late. Yasna is Sven's mother. She says what happened to her only child has left her bedbound and paralysed. I tried to persevere and to get the justice for him until I completely collapsed at the end of July last year. My body simply couldn't take it anymore. There used to be a team, both flying high with local campaigning and activism. It was an unbreakable bond. Sven never forgot his mum. He always hugged me, kissed me. He always wanted to go out with me. He wasn't ashamed of me. And he was exceptionally generous towards everybody. I mean, there is no homeless man in London that he didn't know. A trial heard the defendants often carried knives and had been known to social services. They showed no remorse in court as they were both sentenced to life with a minimum term of 27 years. Harvey Canavan, who pleaded guilty to manslaughter, was sentenced to seven and a half. But six people were involved that day. Three men still haven't been found. This is justice in the first part, the defendants they've got. Others who may be hiding abroad, who obviously haven't got the courage to face proper trial here, haven't come back, they haven't been found, but they will be. They will be. I want the essence to believe that they will be. The Metropolitan Police say the murder inquiry continues and that they're determined to bring all those responsible to justice. No one wants them found more than his mother. They robbed Sven of his life and ripped apart another. Ashna Harinag, Sky News.